Good morning, I'm Fox 23 certified meteorologist Laura Mock. Today is another ozone alert day. Surprise, surprise, not a lot of wind expected today. Sunshine to start with a few extra clouds around and we will have the chance for storms today, tomorrow and the next day. Now we are facing the threat of severe weather on Saturday and we'll touch more on that here in just a second. Let's start with today though. We start off mostly dry. We've got some showers and storms off to our east this morning, so you'll see a little extra cloud coverage in the eastern half of the area. Temperatures warm up. We'll be around 90 degrees today, but as those showers and storms start to develop, to develop this afternoon, if you find yourself under one of those, expect temperatures maybe not to make it into the 90s. If you're dry though, it will be kind of hot out there. Before we get to the radar predictor, I want to point out where we have the highest chance of severe weather on Saturday. It looks like the focus area is going to be the southern half of the area. There's an even higher highlighted area just to our south, closer to the Red River, stretching into Texas. All right, now let's take a look at the radar predictor taking you through today and tomorrow. Starting off dry, as I mentioned, some showers and storms off to our east, giving us a little extra cloud coverage at times. The timing for today's rain is going to be very similar to the last few days. Heat of the afternoon, 3, 4 o'clock. Pop up showers and storms, but as we head into the evening hours, we're likely going to be seeing a line of showers and storms developing right across the area because a boundary will be set up there. As we bring this into Saturday morning, it's looking likely that we will start the day with a round of showers and storms through the area, likely coming in closer to sunrise. As that moves through, we may still have activity around around lunchtime, and there's still the possibility of a few showers and storms developing late in the day as well, just kind of depending on how the morning activity comes through and what we're left with after that. Your five day forecast showing a couple yellow impact days Saturday and again, then again on Tuesday as we have another chance for storms on Tuesday. Temperatures generally in the 80s and 90s as we go through the next few days. Monday looking to be the best day to do anything outdoors. We're talking low 80s with lower humidity. Don't forget you can always stay up to date on the latest forecast right here on Fox23.com or the free Fox23 weather app.